Hey, Barker Trash here again today. Uh, anyway, uh, now that I'm done losing my mind, uh, let's go over something that I don't think. No, I have re reviewed a titanium figure. This is titanium jet fire, and you know me, I love all things jet fire, and I almost can't make myself like this guy. He is probably the reason I don't own very many titaniums because overall, I mean, he looks pretty cool. I mean, his waist is weird, but, you know, it's like they spent the whole time figuring out how to make a good-looking figure, if you like it, but no time on making it action figure E. Uh, let's just get this off. It's going to fall off anyway. Um, the elbows actually have pretty decent movement. Left arm and the right arm both have 90 degrees of motion. Uh, the head can turn. I want you to check out this massive and awesome knee articulation. There the knee is straight. That is it. That is all of the knee articulate. It can move further backwards than it can like that. That is, I'm not kidding, that is all of the knee articulation this figure has. Uh, this statue has. It's a statue with posable arms. Uh, this is the backpack. It's got these... Whoever it is that thought up this joint right here, this... Uh, the same thing that holds the entire arm on to Universe Galvatron. Yeah, that peg, the designer of that needs to be fired. I hate that peg in every single application it's ever been used on on a Transformer. It's terrible. Uh, this is his, uh, the gummy gun. The, uh, it's two guns. They go underneath the pit, the wings in vehicle mode. And check this out. Yeah, that's that's awesome right there. Um, let's transform this guy. Now the instructions. Let me, once again take this off and set that aside because even the instructions show you removing that because they're like, yeah, there's no way they're transforming this without it falling off. Uh, anyway, first thing we're gonna do is just fold the head down into the chest right there and then the chest is gonna rotate up like that uh, the left arm right here the instructions show you taking and pushing the fist up into here and getting it up in there is not a big deal it's when you go to transform him back into robot mode where are you gonna grab onto this? All you, luckily they use that same stupid weak peg so you can just put it back down and clip that back on. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and pick that up again. Um, the right arm is the canopy, and it goes up right there. Then you rotate. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I I gave the uh, the fake double Zeta in the uh, knockoffs video bad marks for this. But the, he's got uh, crotch landing gear as well. So it's not just fake Chinese cheap stuff that doesn't know where to place a landing gear to keep people's minds out the gutter. Hasbro and Takara. I don't actually know that Takara has anything to do with these. So Hasbro and... Yeah, only Hasbro. Takara knew better. Anyway, uh, you rotate this, and then that is going to come down like this. And the hips are going to rotate around. And on the inside of the knees, there's a little hole that goes onto a little peg like that. So you end up with this right here. Next thing you're going to do is the backpack right here. Rotate these around like that. Then rotate these back and around again like that. 
and peg everything back into place and the jet mode is actually pretty cool I, I can't knock the jet mode I actually do like it it's the dis it's the mode I usually put in oh and also he does have the G1 style feet that you know fold out uh, Valkyrie style and oh also the right arm uh, left arm left it uh, collapses a little bit but it still doesn't hold in worth a darn um, hold up I mean uh, so anyway this is the war within titanium jet fire and it does actually look pretty close I mean it's it's good is that way uh, once again we have the crotch gear right here for the front landing gear and these panels right here rotate around and there's this actually has five rolling wheels for the landing gear so pretty impressive there uh, the gummy guns are gonna come here and peg you see that hole in the uh, the backpack red pieces the thrusters it's just gonna go like that and like that and now titanium jet fire is finished the one jet fire I have that I really feel like I could have skipped um, oh one note on the wings I think they look better swept back like this but the Autobot logo is on the tops of the wings so if you want your auto your butts logos showing it's gonna look like that which still isn't bad but like I said I just I find that like that looks better so anyway y'all have a wonderful day